Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah, dear students. I hope that you are fine. I am also fine by the grace of Almighty Allah. Uh, today, uh, welcome to online Zoom class in Islam and Moral Education class for class 9 English version. Today, I will discuss about uh, two important topic. Two important topic I will discuss today. So I hope that uh, you are all, you are uh, you are ready for the class. So uh, in the previous class I discussed. Uh, about two topic that means uh, lesson five the identity of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the most high and lesson six kufr disbelief today I will discuss about fixed two topic please uh, attention please look at the uh, look at the screen look at the slide uh, first of all warm welcome to the online zoom class first of all the question first question to rian rian Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look at the slide or, or screen. First question, who is, is the opposite of Tawheed? You know, or you know, who is, is the opposite of Tawheed? Sir, not sure. Okay, Niloy, who is, is the opposite of Tawheed? Right. Sir, it will be Shirk. Shirk, correct. Good. Correct answer, shirk. Opposite of Tawhid, shirk. Opposite of shirk is Tawhid. Okay. Next question, who is, is the most heinous act? This answer is shirk. So, uh, next. On the other hand, uh, Irfan. Irfan. Irfan or Nafis, 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 are you listening, hearing, Nafis, Ridwan, yes sir, Ridwan, next question. Showing outward allegiance by hiding the opposition of the mind. Please look at the slide. Showing outward allegiance by hiding the opposition of the mind and a false reflection, a false reflection of the mind outwardly. What will you say that matters? Sir, I think Nifa. Nifak. Correct answer. Nifak. Mitha Prokash. Ontore Monte Gopur. Mitha Prokash Kora. Mane Moner Moner Birude. But Moner opposition. Gopon deke. Moner Vitor Gopon deke. Dekanor Zunuk is a Prokash Kora. Ashul Taki Gopon deke. Ashul Bishadeke Mone Ontore Gopon deke. Bajik Babu or Nokis of Prokash Kora. Showing outward allegiance by hiding the opposition of the mind and a false reflection of the mind outwardly. This is Nifal. So today's topic, you know, you know that today's topic, shirk. First, first topic, shirk. That means partnership with Allah or polytheism, polytheism, shirk. And second topic, nifak, hypocrisy duplicity yeah. next 
second topic nifak lesson 7 and 8 from chapter 1 today's topic shirk and nifak lesson 7 and 8 from chapter 1 so please after reading this topic we will be able to explain the concepts of shirk and nifak explain the concepts of shirk and nifak explain the consequences of shirk and nifak consequences or result shirk and nifak and finally you will explain the ways of avoiding shirk and nifak in practical life this is the very important teaching for our life of course uh, we have to avoid the shirk and nifak in our practical life so this is the uh, learning outcome okay so uh, first of all the uh, introduction to shirk about shirk introduction to shirk first of all introduction to shirk uh, literally means shirk literally means to believe in a partner to believe in a partner and to believe in a plurality of creators or gods plurality not singular but plurality of creators and gods this is the literally meaning of shirk and definition of shirk in the islamic terminology it means to associate somebody or something with allah to associate to associate somebody or something with Allah or to regard them as his rival or equivalent. This is the definition of shirk. So one who does so is called a mushrik or polytheist. Mushrik on do on who does so on who does so this work is called a mushrik or polytheist. Shirk is the opposite of Tawheed. We would know that the, that Shirk is the opposite of Tawheed. Assalamu alaikum, sir. Assalam, Fuad. Shirk is the opposite. Shirk, Fuad. Shirk is the opposite of? Sir, Iman. Uh, Iman, that means Tawheed. Yes, sir. Okay. Tawheed. Oneness of Allah. To believe in oneness of Allah is called Tawheed. Tawheed. To this topic, first topic, Shirk. Shirk is the opposite of Tawheed. Shirk, to believe in a plurality of creators of gods. And Tawheed, Tawheed means to believe in oneness of Allah is called Tawheed. So, Shirk is the opposite of Tawheed. The saints of Allah against Shirk. Against Shirk. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, refutes the idea of shirk. He says in the Holy Quran, uh, Surah Al Ikhlas, the smallest surah of the Holy Quran, Surah Al Ikhlas, first verse of Surah Al Ikhlas, Ulhu Allahu Ahad, Ulhu Allahu Ahad. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clearly described in the verse, in this verse, about Tawheed, Tawheed, Ulhu Allahu Ahad, meaning, say, O Prophet, O Nabi, O Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, He is Allah, one and only. Allah is one and only. He has no partner. Allah is one and only. Ulhu Allahu Ahad, say, O Prophet, he is Allah one and only. Surah Ikhlas, verse number one. And number two, in another place, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Laisa kamithlihi shay'un. Laisa kamithlihi shay'un. There is nothing like or comparable to him. There is nothing like or comparable to him. To him, that means to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Surah Shura, Surah Ashura, verse 11. This is the uh, declaration of Tawheed. Laisa kamithlihi shay'un. 
there is nothing like or comparable to him and last i have verse uh, in the holy quran it is also said allah subhanahu wa ta'ala law kana fihi ma alihatun illa allah la fasadata meaning if there were any other god in the heavens and the earth in the heavens means in the sky and the earth both would have collapsed if there were any other god in the heavens and the earth both both god both that means heavens and the earth would have collapsed jodi ekadik prabhu hoto tahole asman jomin sob dhongsho hoye jeto law kana fihi ma alihatun illa allah la fasadata so this is the important verse about tauhid against shirk okay so uh, this is the uh, important uh, headline the sayings of allah against shirk uh, there are three verses uh, first qul huwa allahu ahad second laysa ka mithlihi shay'un third law kana fihi ma alihatun illa allah la fasadata from three verses allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, has declared about tauhid tauhid uh, is the opposite of shirk so next uh, shirk with allah may assume four forms shirk with allah may assume four forms for example for example uh, number 1 to associate partnership in the entity and existence of allah if a person if a person do the work if a person uh, believe in this system in this point to associate partnership in the entity and existence of allah this is the shirk to associate partnership in the entity and existence of allah this is the shirk sasas regarding prophet isa alaihi salam as god's son isa alaihi salam as god's son allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the holy quran wa qalat al yahud uzair ibn allah wa qalat al nasara masih ibn allah first of all wa qalat al yahud uzair ibn allah wa qalat al yahud uzair wa qalat al yahud yahudira the yahudi thought that Uzair alayhi salam the son of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala nauzubillah and second waqalatin nasara masih ibn allah and nasara that means christian thought that think that masih ibn allah that means isa alayhi salam the son of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala nauzubillah this is wrong idea this is wrong belief so this is the shirk regarding prophet isa alaihi salam as god's son this is the shirk first of all number 2 to assign a partner or a rival in the attributes of allah to assign a partner or rival in the attributes of allah such as regarding someone else as the creator if a person think that uh, creator a uh, risk provider uh, someone uh, without allah so this is the shirk to assign a partner or a rival in the attributes of allah such as regarding someone else as the creator as the sustainer as the risk provider as the malik the khaliq so this is the shirk number 3 to take some other entity for allah's partner in the management of the universe in the management of the universe if a person uh to believe in the management of the universe another person another else without allah this is the shirk such as the angels as managers angels angels angel is not uh creator angel is not manager main manager of allah so main manager is allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, has managed all the universe, heaven, sky, earth, all the universe has managed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So there is, uh, there is no manager, angels, but main manager, full manager, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So number uh, fourth, to raise a parallel in matters of worship, to raise a parallel, equal in matters of worship, such as prostrating before anybody or anything. Prostrating, that means sizda. to do sizda. To do sizda, to do sizda before anybody or anything without Allah. This is the shirk. Number two, uh, to sacrifice an animal in anyone's without Allah. This is the shirk. And name other than Allah's. This is the shirk. So there are, there are four activities. There are four forms. Uh, by this, uh, by these works, uh, will be a person mushrik. Okay, this is the shirk system. Uh, if a person uh, do the activities, do the belief, so he is a he will be a mushrik. Clear, students. So go to next page. Uh, topic: evils or consequences of shirk. Evils or consequences of shirk, results of shirk, the very heinous act, very great sin is the shirk. <coughs> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Holy Quran, clearly he described in the Holy Quran, inna shirk ala zulmun azim, verily shirk is the extreme tyranny, most heinous act. So, uh, these consequences of shirk is very bad, very difficult. Allah, Allah will not forgive the sin of shirk. Allah will not forgive the sin of shirk. Allah the Most High says, Inna Allah la yaghfir wa ayyushraka bihi wa yaghfiru ma duna dhalika liman yasha. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mentioned in the Holy Quran, surely Allah will not forgive the sin of shirk. Besides shirk, he may forgive any other sin of whom he so desires. Surah An Nisa, verse 48. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not forgive the sin of shirk. He will forgive any other sin without shirk. The very, very important, very, very bad activities, very, very uh, evil acts, the shirk. So next, the polytheists are destined to painful punishment in the next life. In the Holy Quran, it is explicitly stated. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Holy Quran, for punishment of mushrik, innahu may yushrik billah, faqad harram allahu alayhi jannah, wa ma'wahu Meaning Allah will certainly make paradise Forbidden for the polytheist. Allah will certainly make paradise forbidden for the polytheist. Haram kure diyeche. Jannat hobena. Fixed place. In fact, his abode is the hell. In fact, his abode is the hell in the Jahannam. In the Naan. Jahannam. Fixed place for Mushrik. Fixed place for Mushrik is Jahannam is the hell. So very, very sad news for a Mushrik. They finally, he will go to Jahannam. Innahu ma yushrik billah faqad harram Allah alayhi jannah wa ma'wahu nar Finally, Mushrik will go to Jan Jahannam. Will go to Jahannam. Not only Jannat, will go to Jahannam. Will go to Nar. Will go to Hell. This is the final destination of Mushrik. So next, uh, its remedies, please students, Please come, uh, you know, we, will, we will avoid the shirk in our form of our life. As a matter of fact, shirk is an unforgivable sin. All have to be aware of it. Number one, if one commits shirk even by mistake, 
one must restore iman immediately if one commits shirk even by mistake one must restore iman immediately two then he must repent with a sincere heart and solicit allah's forgiveness number three at the same time he must take a vow not to commit it again afterwards promise you have to promise and the next time uh, will not would not to join in the shirk activities so at the same time he must take a vow not to commit it again afterwards so uh, finally uh, i will say that only then allah the most time may forgive the sin out of his mercy and compassion we must necessarily avoid shirk we must necessarily avoid shirk and become dear to allah and become mumin dear to allah that means mumin with a firm faith in him with a firm faith in him that means we will be a mumin they are moving to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with a firm faith in him so finally i will say that to you we will avoid the shirk from our every life activities so next topic second topic nifaq introduction to nifaq uh, nifaq uh, literally means a false appearance false appearance hypocrisy duplicity deceit fraud Protarona, Bhondami, Dimukhiniti, Popotota in Bangla. Appearance, false appearance, hypocrisy, duplicity, deceit, fraud. In the Islamic Sharia, definition of Shia, Nifak, Islamic Sharia, it means an oral admission of Islam in contrast to the kufur or disobedience at heart. An oral admission of Islam in contrast to the kufur or disobedience at heart. Anture Avishash Kora. Islamir Mukher Kotabola, Islamir Kota Mukhebola, on Tura Vishashkora. This is the Nifak. One who does so is called a Munafi. Who does Nifak is called a Munafi. The Munafiks are unbelievers at heart, but outwardly they process Islam and Iman and perform worship as Muslims. Perform worship as Muslims, but he is a Munafik in the heart this is the definition or introduction of nifaq the symbols of a munafik alamat of a munafik alamat of a munafik the symbols of a munafik the signs of a munafik you will know the signs of a munafik, the symbols of a munafik in Arabic, the alamat of munafik, alamat. Rasul, uh, our great prophet Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam describes the symbols of a munafik thus uh, in the hadith. Ayatul munafiqi salasun idha haddasa kadaba wa idha wa'ada akhlafa wa idha atubina khana Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam describes in the hadith, a munafi has three distinctive marks, three signs, three symbols. When he, number one, when he speaks, he tells a lie. Number two, when he promises, he breaks it. And number three, when something is kept in his custody, he grabs it. In a word, in a word, the symbols of a munafiq, number one, to tell a lie, number two, to break promise, number three, to grab, to grab the custody. Okay? This is the symbols of a munafiq. There are three symbols, there are three signs of a munafiq that Rasulullah Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned in the hadith. Rasulullah Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam describes in the hadith. There are three symbols of, uh, of a munafiq to tell a lie, to break promise, to grab the custody. This is the symbols of munafik. Next, bad effects of munafik. Bad effect of munafik in our society. 
munafik, uh, bad effects of nifak in our society. Please follow the screen, follow the slide. Number one, it, it destroys a man's character and morality. That means nifak destroys a man's character and morality. As a result, he becomes used to lies. Allah Ta'ala says, Allahu yashahadu inna al-munafikina la kazibun. Allah testifies that the hypocrites are undoubtedly liars. Liars. Kazibun, that means liars. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, mentioned in the Holy Quran, hypocrites are the liars. Undoubtedly the liars. So next, alongside telling lies, the hypocrites attach themselves with evil and immoral activities bad activities number three they do not lag behind doing harm to others for worldly gains and protecting self-interested self-interested okay self-minded narrow-minded okay number four they take to slander and backbiting always take to slander and backbiting to others Number five, consequently, suspicion and disorder greet the society. Disorder uh, spread in the society for nifak. And next, people do not trust the hypocrites for their duplicity. All human beings, all people don't trust the hypocrites for their duplicity, for their fraud, for their uh, hypocrisy. And Rather, they are looked down upon with suspicion and hatred. All people hatred the uh, munafik. And finally, they spend their life in humiliation and disrespect in society. Very, very uh, difficult life he enjoyed. So they spend their life in humiliation and disrespect in the society. This is the bad effects of nifak. So consequences of nifak, results of nifak, the consequences for the hypocrites will be very lamentable in the next life. In the next life, that means in the porokal, in the life after, in the life after death, in the akhirah. Allah Ta'ala says, Very sad news for munafik. Very uh, bad news. Very difficult news. Finally, Monafik will go to Jahannam. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Holy Quran, Innal munafikina fi darkil asfali minan nar. Meaning, the hypocrites will remain in the lowest layer of hell. In the lowest layer of the hell. Ekdum nichu jai gai. Shorbo nimno istore. Lowest layer of the hell. Hypocrites will remain. So, uh, nifak or hypocrisy, the very bad, bad, bad character of a man, bad activities, evil activities, the nifak, uh, to create disorder in the society by nifak. So please, uh, students, uh, please, students, uh, I will request to you, we shall save ourselves from nifak. We shall save ourselves from Nifak. We shall protect, secure ourselves again the signs of Nifak, as pointed out by Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and build up an excellent character. I hope that uh, all students, you uh, you will avoid the Nifak. You will avoid the bad activity that means Nifak from your life. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam uh, pointed out the three signs of nifak. Uh, of course, you will avoid the signs of nifak. To tell a lie, to, uh, to keep the promise and to grab the custody. From these three signs, you will avoid. Okay? Uh, next, uh, so this is the this is our topic. Uh, first of all, I will discuss about shirk, and second topic I will discuss about nifak.
this is the negative uh, negative activities. Uh, this is the bad activities, shirk and nifaq. Uh, shirk is the very heinous work, uh, bad activities, great sin to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, mentioned in the Holy Quran, in the shirk ala zulmun azim. Shirk is the very heinous act, great sin. And nifaq is the very secondly, uh, I will discuss about, uh, I have discussed about nifaq. Uh, nifaq is the very uh, uh, evil act and bad character. Rasulullah uh, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned uh, the symbol of nifaq. There are three symbols of nifaq. So, uh, all students, uh, this is our today's topic. Uh, first, shirk and second, nifaq. Uh, I have discussed the shirk and nifaq according to the Quran, according to the Islam. Uh, I hope that uh, this class have easy to you. So, question answer session. Have you any question, students? Jarir? Have you any question? Uh, 23 students have joined in the class. Thank you very much. All students, all participants, uh, thank you very much for joining in the uh, today's class. So, uh, have you any question? Any question? Jarir? Jafi, Tausif, Ridwan, any question about Shirk and Nifak, Ishmam, Riyan, Niloy? No, sir, we have no question. No, sir. Abir, Abir, are you sleeping? Abir? Abir? Shubo, 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 sir. Shubo, it to mic problem, sir. O bol silo. Okay, okay, okay. Mahir, ha, any question about Shirk and Nifak? Farhan, Shirk, very, very important topic. Shirk, Nifak. Of course, uh, you must avoid the shirk. You must avoid uh, the nifak. You must uh, uh, abstain from shirk and nifak. This is the great sin. Bad activities. Any sir, question? Sir, a question, Chilo. Okay, okay. Uh, sir, Jodi kono creative. Uh, sir, Jodi erokom ekta stay maashe je ekta lok. She uh, Allah ke deny kore onno aare jun ke worship kore sir tali eta ki kufor a shirk dhuy tai uh, no shirk sir Final, only shirk oh, finally shirk he denies uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he denies and worship another entity yeah, he, he, finally shirk he is a mushrik this is the shirk uh, if a person will worship, uh, if a person worship uh, uh, in any, for any person, for anything, for any matter, without Allah, this is the shirk. Okay. Clear? Ji, sir. So homework, two question, skin short or very easy question, write about nature and form of shirk, its bad consequences and remedies according to Islam. Consequences and remedies according to Islam. Number two, write the evil consequences and demerits of nifak in the society according to Islam. Two question uh, for homework. I hope that at your home, you will complete the homework to question. In the next class, I will ask uh, two.
to you about homework. Okay. Write about nature and form of shirk, its bad consequences and remedies according to Islam. And two, write the evil consequences and demerits of nifak in the society according to Islam. So all students, thank you very much for joining in the class. Uh, inshallah, uh, in the next class, I will come uh, with uh, uh, other topic with main uh, important topic, inshallah. Stay home, stay safe. Depend only on Almighty Allah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.